A warm welcome to all of you who have joined us to share in the 2020 Archbishop Holgate School Christmas Carol Service. We're living in unprecedented times, and so this year we're sadly unable to gather together as usual in the beautiful surroundings of York Minster to celebrate Christmas and to hear the story of Christ's birth afresh. However, through the hard work of many students and staff, we're blessed to be able, instead, to share in a virtual service together. So, I invite you to sit back and enjoy the Bible readings, music, sketches, and a reflection from the Dean of York Minster that will collectively tell us the Christmas story. We begin with a prophecy from Isaiah. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. But the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house of Ina David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for a baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in manger because there was no guest room available for them. I'm looking for a gift for a baby. Money is no object for me to purchase the right gift. This bag is full of gold and... you for the quick assistance but I can see in an instance that what I am looking for, what my soul is searching for, is not in this pile of product. Thank you for all your help and ideas but I have a very different idea. When you have seen the brightest star the world has ever seen, when your heart says that you know what this sign might mean, mm, 
Hmm. Then the wise choice would be Ma. 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 Do you have any in stock? Ma. 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 You are very good at remembering the word, but can I buy some here? You want to buy a special gift? For a baby. A uh, baby. A newborn baby. You do know what myrrh is used for? For a night in the dead. The dead. Do you have any here? You might be rich. But you're not very wise. We do not sell myrrh. Not in a baby shop. A special blazing star. A special birth. And a special life that will blaze across all of our lives. And a special... No. A significant death that will shine a light in all of our darkest fears. You've been the most helpful. Goodbye. Can you believe that? No. Did you understand what she was on about? No. A special birth. A special life. A special death. death. Who did she say the child was? Excuse me, miss. Excuse me. What did she say about a star? It was bright. Anything else? It was big.
Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod. Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of Jews? We saw his star when it rose, and I've come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all of Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and leaders of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people, Israel. When it gets quiet, when it gets deathly quiet, that's when I get really scared. I've not seen King Herod like this before. Not this purple with rage. Not with that look of... with that look in his eyes. Where is the newborn king? they asked. Herod just stared. We have come to worship him, they declared, and Herod just stared. The look on Herod's face sent rivers of ice running through my heart. That look. It's too quiet. That means he's thinking. That means he's planning something. That means someone's life is in grave danger. Very grave danger. We have come to worship him, they declared, and the look on their faces, the light that shone from their eyes, as bright as stars. We have travelled from afar, they said. We have brought gifts to give to the newborn king, they declared. And Herod just stared. Whoever that child is, God help him. Wherever he is, God protect him. Please. Shh. God be with that child. Amen. 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 Later, Herod called the Magi secretly and found out the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star that they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. They then opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. It looks so, so beautiful in there. Come and have a look. They're all just stood around the child now. Don't you want to have a look? No. It does look wonderful. A baby has been born in our stinky stable, and some very rich looking people from a faraway land have just turned up to see this child, and you're not in the least bit bothered. No. Not a tiny bit curious as to why they have come so far, and who this child is. No. Well, the fact that there is a baby right on our doorstep, literally. Uh, no. Oh wow, look at them now. They're all just kneeling in the dirt. Just look. Now they're laying in all the filth. I told you to give the stable a good clean out. Gold. Why are they giving a child born in a stable gold? Why have they journeyed so far to find him? Why bow down and worship him in all the mess in the muck? Why give him gold? Who is this child? What do you think? Do you think they'll give us some gold? No! This 
still kneeling, still worshipping him. I wonder why. Why don't we go and find out? Okay. You go first. After you. Okay. Is it alright if we come and see your baby? What did you say his name is? His name is Jesus. Arches, when it comes, happy Christmas from all of your friends at York Minster. The Minster belongs to you and you should be here celebrating together. But we know we can't be, so let's just enjoy time together. I've discovered an app. I've discovered so much during the lockdowns. And what three words is the app I just briefly want to speak about? My understanding is that if you're lost, it will give you a sense of where you are, a fresh sense of direction and a way forward. I think this is great. What three words, what three words would I use? 
to describe Christmas when God comes to a lost world, a world that's lost its direction, its sense of what matters most, and beckons it home. What three words could I use to describe describe Christmas? Well, there's an opportunity for you to have a go at this yourself. Behind me, you'll see one of our eight Christmas trees. You have to have, I discover, a lot of Christmas trees in a minster. And we've got eight. And on them, we've got stars hanging. And they've got a space, a blank space on one side for you to to write in. I'll give you the uh, directions in a moment. To write in and give your three words for Christmas and at Christmas. Uh, it's stars dot yorkminster dot org stars dot yorkminster dot org you'll find an online form to fill in what will your three words be well mine are these god with us god with us that's christmas we're not on our own we don't need to find our way through without assistance or friendship god comes to us lost often lonely, but so full of promise, and says, come with me, follow me, uh, follow my son, and find in his life, life itself, life in all its abundance. So Christmas, in three words, God with us. My dear friends at Arches, we look forward to seeing you much closer in the new year. Have a wonderful Christmas, and I look forward to receiving hundreds of three worders from you what will yours be
Let us pray for the world and all its peoples. The Magi came from the East to worship your Son. Father, grant to your people everywhere the spirit of wonder and adoration. The infant Christ received gifts of gold, incense and myrrh. Father, accept the offering of our hearts and minds. The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ. Father, grant an abundance of peace to your world. The Holy Family lived in exile and in the shadow of death. Father, look in mercy on all who are poor and powerless and all who suffer. Your son shared the life of his home and family. Father, protect in your love our neighbours, our families and the community of which we are a part. You welcome both shepherds and kings. Father, we rejoice in our fellowship with the shepherds, the angels, the magi, the Virgin Mary, St. Joseph and all the faithful departed. In your unfailing love for us and for all people, hear and answer our prayers through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And so, as Jesus taught us, now together we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Amen. Thank you. 
Thank you for joining us in our act of Christmas worship together. Let's now finish with a prayer. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. May I wish you a very Merry Christmas. We wish you